I really never, well, this is a different video. I really never talk shit hmm. about freaking Nike, but I think this just needs to be talked about. In case you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the bell, comment, follow our Instagram, which is pop underscore freak underscore underscore YT. And yeah, guys, here's the video. Alright, guys, so I'm going to show you um, what the hell is going on with Nike. And shit, if you did not know, today was a Kobe Bryant memorial. Rest in peace, Kobe. Um, well, we already knew he died, but, um, yeah, so, I'm gonna read this. I saw this shit on Twitter, and I was like, you know, I have to read it. Yes, I have Twitter. It's, uh, I think it's called Pop Freak. I, I don't know. I just started. <laughs> so, yeah, don't mm. harass me. But, is that really my old freaking cross? Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, I'm getting off track. But, yeah, um... <clears throat> We have Nike's ridiculously limited sneakers drops are allow are allowing resellers to profit off of Kobe Bryant's death. Now this will sound fucked up. We'll get into a reason why. Um, it's and I mean it's it's a good game to get into to resell because those actually drop when I was at the mall for um, STCC. Hmm. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna hold on, I'm just trying to um, take a photo of this if I can. Let me open it. Let me open it to um. Let me open it by stop press. Hold on. Oh, guys, hold on. All right, here we go. Um, yeah. So, hold on. Let me just take a photo. Let me just try to download that photo for the thumbnail. Let me try to download the photo. Download image. Hmm. Um, there we go. All right. So it says, if you woke up at the crack of dawn earlier, um, earlier. Um, of the last two days, just hoping to score the first Kobe Bryant merchandise that Nike has dropped since the tragic death in January. Sorry, there's a plane. Ah, uh, who cares? You are hardly the only one to do so. Unfortunately, due to Nike's ridiculously ton death, um, death release strategy strategy you just you like nearly every other lakers fans of on my timeline that logged on to sneakers nikes it's called s n k e r s which is the abbreviation for sneakers nike's hype building app never actually had a chance well yes um um who who's the one who um, wrote this um by um Harrison Fag Figgin, Harrison Figgin, I think, Juan, um, let me, yeah, um, yeah, by Harrison Figgin, yeah, oh, this thing actually focuses, that's pretty good, um, yeah, um, by Harrison Figgin, um, well, if I could tell you the real reason why, it's because people these days have fucking bots, and they will buy them up in seconds and seconds, maybe even minutes, of course, if your bot is slow, if you buy one of those good, one of those good bots you have for, yeah, I'm just trying to say, bots will buy anything up. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the guy has to put the um, headline saying, this is pathetic. It truly is. It's fucked up. Um, you see, for Nike's um, sneakers that are actually an app for selling shoes. Well, yeah, that's, oh. Yeah, my bad. Sneakers is not the app. Um, sneakers is a reselling app. Um, I don't. I'm. You just, I'm not trying to say I collect sneakers. I'm just saying this is a subject I had to share to my sneaker fans out there. Um, yeah, for selling shoes or at least the very least, if it's is one. This sucks. It sucks at it. What it actually serves as is an artificial. Hype generator. Something for everyone to rush to hoping to hoping. Hoping for just a crumb. Sorry, that was my um that's my ringtone. Um if you hear that, I'm sorry. Um I ain't fart at all, so just get that in mind. Um, if you even heard it. Rushing, hoping for just a crumb of a chance at an extremely limited release merch. The Nike drops the Nike drops on it. If you're a sneaker head, you're more than familiar with the sold out text that pops up around 10 to 
after five to ten minutes after you input all your info and the assuring dwen dwelge of tweet of people comparing themselves to clowns for even trying. We all wanted Nike's drops for Kobe's birthday and birthday and Mamba Day, August twenty fourth. Sorry, I got that wrong. Don't don't harass me. Um, to be different, we hoped that Nike would make the shoes and jerseys that were that were putting out a wild a wild -er release, so that real fans would actually have a at least a small chance of getting stuff to celebrate the late Lakers legend. That unfortunately was not the case. The release is similar to resellers have bots to game the sneaker system. Yeah, I'm just saying that, like, um, it's a good game to get in for sneakers, but, like, I'm just saying you'll have, you will have to have a bot to get it. Like, no lie, guys. It's, like, guarantee you probably won't even be able to get a, a Pacific drop without having a... But, unless you luck out, like, I'm just saying, some shit's just fucking ridiculous. Like, usually what I do a pop is if there's a limited pop I want, if the site doesn't crash, I probably, my, um, my tablet, um, cut out and I lost, well, I don't know, I just lost storage, but, um, I ran out of storage, but, um, yeah, like, I'm just saying, it, it, it's, it's some bullshit, honestly, like, what I do is with pops, there's a most... Expensive, it's the most hype drop I want. I probably would buy a bot to buy it. But, like, yeah, I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to say this was kind of a disgrace to freaking Kobe, I would say. Like, do what Funko's doing. Put, like, one of those things that say, Are you a bot or something like that? Because mostly, I gotta be honest, real collectors were actually able to get the Funko Ween stuff. But, yeah, and I just wanted to put this out about the Kobe thing. Um, um, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's just a bunch of bullshit, honestly. I'm honestly just speechless what they could do to Kobe like that. But yeah, guys, um, and this video off here, just saying, um, just saying, <laughs> do not, do not go on Twitter. Do not, um, you will get spewed out with shit and stuff, cause Twitter's kind of hell now. And yeah, yeah, I'm out, peace.